ladies and gentlemen. It is indeed a huge privilege for me to join you here in this great city, in this great country, to celebrate with you as people of Bangladeshi origins. We're not all Bangladeshi, but we all have Bangladeshi heritage. And I'm quite sure we retain a Bangladeshi heart. It is tremendous privilege for me to join you here and to celebrate E. You know, I must say to my good friend Dr. Moin here, uh, we had this plan of asking everybody to shorten their speech. But now you know why. It is because my friend Dr. Moreen and I can have the longest speech. <laughs> so whatever time we have saved, unfortunately, uh, I and my friend, my diplomatic friend, have taken up. So uh, my apologies if my speech strays on a little bit longer uh, than the few minutes uh, we promised. I, I must say, I feel I am one of the luckiest individuals uh, alive, certainly in the diplomatic circle. I went to Bangladesh as a person who had a family, a small family, a wife and then uh, one daughter and one son. When I returned from Bangladesh, I feel I feel as though I now have a family of hundreds of thousands and perhaps of millions. And that is a very unique privilege for anyone. And I think it is a characteristic of being Bangladeshi. Nobody in the world, no other country, no other culture, no other people can make you feel a part of a family like our community. This is one of the things that I think distinguishes Bangladeshis as a unique people. It's something we should be very proud of because it says we are different. We have a different approach to life. We celebrate different things. Of course we want to be successful. We are very successful. In the UK now, British Bangladeshis are now enjoying professional positions right across British society. In America, I see success everywhere. I came here 10 years ago. You know, when I, when I left Bangladesh, I took on a job as international director. So I was in charge of the UN British policy for the United Nations, uh, a job that Dr. Momin knows very well, but also of NATO or European Union, all the international institutions. So I used to come here quite often for the UN meetings, particularly in September, the General Assembly meeting that Dr. Momin did. So I got to know the people of New York quite well. And in the five or six years that I have been watching you. I have been watching you progress. This time I had spent a week here. And now I hear much more talk about people's children who are becoming professionals, accountants, actuaries, doctors, pharmacists, professors. Bangladeshis are now providing this country like academia. Today I heard about three people who are at Harvard, professors at Harvard. We have a distinguished doctor amongst us uh, uh, who is an academic here. If the mood has changed. It is not just about earning money. It is now becoming successful in America. And I congratulate you. I it really warms me. It really touches me. Uh, to, to see your success. It, it makes me quiver with emotion because I want you to do well. I want you in the next 10 years when I come back 
I want to see a Bangladeshi senator. I want to see a Bangladeshi origin American ambassador. And I know this is going to be possible. In fact, I'm sure you'll do it before that. But I can see this in you now. And this, this is what gives me great hope for our community. Because we are good people. And what good people do well, there is nothing better. There is nothing happier. Nothing makes me happy. Well, there is a, a joke in uh, diplomacy. It used to say, a joke that a ambassador from Bangladesh was like, I'm going to look at it. 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 सत्य राष्ट्रदूत But I do not see this. And why? Why is it that people feel so affectionate toward Bangladesh? Well, Bangladesh as a country is doing well, as my friend Dr. Mohin said. Bangladesh is growing at seven percent despite the economic recession. That is something to be proud of. That is not happening everywhere. Even India has now come down to eight. China has now down to eight. But Bangladesh is still growing at seven percent. That is a huge credit. To the people of Bangladesh. Then there is the Bangladeshi people, which we talked about. But let me talk about the Bangladeshi people here. And here, I think I want to say a little bit more about the people of New York. I want you to first mention the organizers of this event. It shows the sort of people we are. These people have put in their own. मुस्तफा चौधरी and mr pokrul islam khan uh ladies and gentlemen i'm sure you will join me in collectively thanking them for putting this together so that's the bangladesh people who you see a representation here in new we talked about the bangladesh economy the third thing i want to talk about and why i want to end is bangladesh culture this is something i think over the years we have not appreciated and celebrated as much as we should i got to know the people of bangladesh through bangladeshi songs through the songs of govindanath through the songs of radha ramon through the songs of my beloved uh, shah abdul karim through hasan raza if you want to understand the bangladeshi heart if you want to understand the bangladeshi mind then listen to these songs 
And this is why I'm so happy that this event is going to be about Bangladeshi culture and Bangladeshi music. If you want to understand the Bangladeshi intellect, then listen to the songs of Tagore. If you want to understand Bangladeshi passion, Bangladeshi rebellion, Bangladeshi independence, then listen to the songs of Nazrul. But if you want to understand the Bangladeshi heart, if you want to understand Bangladeshi generosity, if you want to understand Bangladeshi love, then listen to the songs of Shah Abdul Karim. <laughs> so today, in this evening, I hope we'll be able to listen to all of those songs. But I know the songs that I would want to listen to. In fact, I've made a list of ten songs that I would like to uh, I would like to listen to, which I will hand over. They're not all Abdul Karim, so <laughs> you can relax a little bit. Um, and I am absolutely delighted that you have managed to get uh, Pokit Shahbuddin from Bangladesh here to sing. Pokit Shahbuddin is one of the best singers in Bangladesh. He, when you listen to him, when you listen to the depth of his voice, you will understand why I'm such a fan. When I left Bangladesh, all the folk singers, they, everybody, all the folk singers in Bangladesh knew how much I loved Bangladeshi songs, how much I loved them. They did me a great kindness. What a short million, the top singer has in Bangladesh, what a short million, that are five star retailer. This is Pokit Shahwuddin, Kalamia, Shanaz Bali, uh, um, Laila, Shok. Shok Milie, Amare Ekta, Goodbye, Ekta Concert. This concert is a kind of YouTube, one of the most important things. Show me that concert, the bar part of the concert. This is a kind of a look at the একটা সাধারণ এম্বাসিডারদের একটা বিদেশি লুকরে গুডবাই কর্ডেন সারা দেশের গায়ক মিলে একটা এই আপনার ফেয়ারওয়েল দিল এইরকম দেশ হইল বাংলাদেশ এইরকম মানুষ হইল বাঙালি এইরকম মানুষ হইলেন আপনারা ঈদ মোবারক 